Ladies and gentlemen, the enemy is committed to detonating a nuclear device in an American city unless we act now. Elizabeth, you're confident these men will be at this place at this time? I am. So, let's go in this thing. Amazing work. I knew I could count on you. Students, we are honored to have secured the talents of one of the most brilliant minds in American foreign policy today. I resigned my post four years ago. After that, I was a figure of controversy. Thank you for your service to the country. How many people died? How many? Maybe you should introduce yourself. When the time's right. Why are you here? I just want to understand how evil works. Evil. You want to understand? Read it. We were at war. We did what needed to be done. And our country is safer for it. These have to be published. There are elements within the White House who we make sure these never see the light of day. Decision was made, an order was given. You're the with us or against us. It's as simple as that. That bomb was dropped on a lie. What should we do with Libby? Take her. I'm no longer on your team. Are you suspicious of everyone now? We have to win this war. Total victory. I know I'm going to have to answer for what I've done. But I have a chance. Hey guys, here's today's Daily Fact. Now, there will be blood disrupted shooting for No Country for Old Men. In 2007, they filmed in the same area of Marfa, Texas, which created issues when a pyrotechnical test for There Will Be Blood created a huge smoke cloud that got into the shop for No Country for Old Men. Joel and Ethan Cohen had to wait for it to dissipate before they could get back to shooting. Now, remember to click here below to subscribe for more great content and on the side for another video.